Hey gents, today we're going to take a look at Thursday Boots' new shoes. And I had some trouble getting these in my size initially because I don't have any strings to pull there. But for $180, you're getting a good year welted shoe with a full grain upper. So is this the shoe that could really dethrone Mirmin as like the, the internet's collective love for budget value shoes? Maybe. So I got the uh, Executive and I have the Lincoln. So I have an Oxford and a Loafer. Let's unbox these, take a look. I'll put a link to Thursday Boots down below so you can check them out if you have any questions. Always looking forward to answering those and like, subscribe, all that stuff. Let's jump over to the unboxing. <sighs> We'll start off with the Executive, which could also be mistaken for the Allen Edmond Park Avenue. They look very close, very similar. It does not have the same leather quality as Allen Edmonds, and then Allen Edmonds made in the USA, made in Mexico. But if you're looking to go less than $400, it's crazy for Allen Edmonds, like $425 for some of the full price sales now, great option. The big thing here, and especially when you're looking at this price point of like $200 for dress shoes, the Goodyear Welt makes these extremely comfortable when you first put them on, but because they have that cork midsole, it's going to make them very comfortable as they wear in and form to your foot. So I'm very impressed with the leather upper. I really like the design of the sole on here. It gives you some more traction than a typical leather sole. And if this is the same material that my Thursday boots chuckas are made out of, this rubber material on the heel, this is extremely durable and it lasts for a long time because I've had those for over a year and they barely have any wear on the bottom and I wear them a lot. Thursday boots are made in small batches. They're handcrafted. They look great. The creasing on here is very minimal and it's really easy to tell when I try shoes on for the first time how much they'll crease over time what the crease will look like looks good so far one thing that's missing in these that is in the loafers is this like suede patch in the back of the shoe which helps with sliding it's minor but these are a size 12 fit right in line with every other dress shoe that i buy in a size 12 so they fit true to dress shoe size sneaker size is a little bit different the laces are great too i wax canvas and they feel really nice the lincoln loafers i like even more than the oxfords but there's a size issue so these i also ordered in a size 12 and i need an 11 and a half. They're just a little bit too big versus the executives, but extremely comfortable right out of the box. These feel more comfortable than the executives. The cushioned heel feels really nice. I love the color on these. They have like black and brown. They have other, but I really like this. It's called the natural color. Also made in small batches in Mexico. Also has this great sole design. Same thing with the rubber on the back here. It does have the suede patch that'll help with your sliding on your foot. A minor thing on the side here, you can see there's a little bit of issue with the stitching. What's interesting thing is that this is about the same spot as my factory seconds from Allen Edmonds had a problem with the welt on here. It's minor, but it's a nice reminder that all of these things are handmade, handcrafted, and there's going to be imperfections on here. So these shoes come in at 170, the executives come in at 180, and you can really tell that they've done a lot to get to that price while still maintaining high quality goods. So the leather on this looks great. It's not as high end as Allen Edmonds, but you're not paying Allen Edmonds prices. The Goodyear Welt on here is a high end construction, but they're not charging as much as some others. And when you look at this compared to Meerman, my Meerman shoes were extremely tough to break in, and I've read that across the internet as well. But the leather on the Meerman wasn't as nice as the leather on Thursday boots and so it's a toss up.
I say that with a caveat that I've only been able to wear one of my Mirman shoes because it's taken me a year from my order process to get customer service to replace the shoe that has a staple sticking out of the footbed. But I am going to their store in New York in October and I'll be uh, returning, exchanging those and getting that taken care of because it's been weird to test one shoe out to try and get an understanding of how they wear over the last year. So not to get too off track, that is Thursday shoes, unboxing, quality, fit, style, price, and overall value. Quality, very pleased with. I like the leather, I like the construction, the fit right in line with dress shoes on here the loafers I would go a half size down style on here is killer this is just a classic clean silhouette same thing with the loafer I love the natural look of this but you could also get this in black if you're a little more conservative value is where this is really nailed so if you look at the quality of it and then you look at this as a $180 or $170 shoe then that really hits that price point value could almost be Thursday boots middle name from the construction the leather everything else $170 for the loafers $180 for the executives that's a great price the only thing to get really close to that is like Allen Edmonds factory seconds but even then you're going to have some blemishes on the shoes versus these which are coming straight from the factory so decisions there and overall experience is where Thursday really excels they're a digital first brand so they have fast free shipping they have very easy returns and then their customer service is excellent because they know that it's all about the reputation of the brand so the shoes so far big thumbs up looking forward to wearing these more if you have any questions about the shoes now that I have them or Thursday anything else always happy to answer below you can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram I wonder if they regret the Thursday Boots name. It says just Thursday on the heel. It doesn't say Thursday Boots. Thursday every day. There you have it, gents. Always happy to hear from you guys. And until next time, this is the Cavalier.